Hello everybody, in this video I want to show you how I got to create this beautiful Joker AI art using Mid Journey. Now it wasn't until test uh, option was actually available or what is actually now uh, a remaster button that's available in Mid Journey. Now before that, and of course I'm going to demonstrate the process, before that I got some very very beautiful and artistic results, but in many times really wanted that you know the spark of realism something a bit more photorealistic uh to be available while still being able to maintain the artistic side that mid journey is very known for the very creative artistic results that people are just amazed by and then they came up with some testing uh uh options that allows us to go either go more towards the photorealism with test p and then more general creative option with test and uh i was just blown away because they knew this allows me to create some really really amazing air art using me journey that before that well it would probably i wouldn't get and of course i tried to tone it a bit with different things with different words and i try to stretch it towards the direction where it just seems like me journey just doesn't allow me to get there and i want to be able to have more control over the creative output render of what me journey actually uh uh, brings and uh, well they're definitely working towards it and uh, of course it will just get better and better but right now I definitely feel that I have much more control over the result that I want to get especially for certain type of images that before that I couldn't get all right so let me show you first of all how it began and how I actually got to creating those beautiful beautiful images using my journey all right how the process was done let me show you these are some of the images that I created some of them are amazing. Some of them I didn't like, were too creepy for me. But again, the most important thing is the art style is the one they're looking for. So basically in the past, I created these images and I love them so much. Uh, just look brilliant. And I, I play with it so for many hours because just I like the look of it. And uh, I tried to put hyper realistic to get it more realistic. It turned on to be more artistic kind of style, uh, but still I love it a lot but I wanted to push it to be more realistic. I felt that if I just push it a bit more to higher realism, it would just look incredible. That's actually what I wanted to achieve. Although I really like those results, I wanted to push it towards more uh, realism, slightly more. I, I still love the artistic style of Mid Journey. Everybody likes it. That's why we are using it a lot, right? But you want more gradual control over the and fine tune the end results. So I play with it, I write something soldier, I change it, I change it to, uh, to again, I just play around with so many different uh, subjects, but again, the same results maintain. I was kind of blown away. It just looks beautiful. Marlene Monroe, by the way, you can't put wrinkles in Marlene Monroe. It just doesn't work. Your data set won't allow you. <laughs> you can't, I tried. No wrinkles for Marlene Monroe. And I got crazy with other stuff. But the core idea was that this type of set of images, I wanted to, I really like them. And I knew that when are you going to use TAST, and test P is going to be with those images first. Of course, you can play with many others and you're going to get different results. This is just one great example how this feature works well for me in my journey and why I'm so happy that they actually introduced it. Something that is you know, practical for me and I know that they actually nailed it right. All right. And let's, uh, well, let's jump a bit further so we can see actually the process and what I need to do. So basically, I stick with the kind of a, the Dr. Victorian era. All right, you can see the prompt there. I wrote hyper-realistic, you can see, because I wanted to be more hyper-realistic. I didn't want the more artistic. Although, again, I like the results. Now, if you type uh, show, you have the option to copy a job ID of a previous created art. So we can just uh, just have it, you know, available anywhere you want, right? So you can bring it maybe to another Discord server. So just uh, get the job ID. The way you got, get the job ID, but just using the emoji icon of envelope and it Mid journey will send you the job with the job id which you can copy paste in the prompt in the job id location so you just type envelope Mid journey will send you a message private message and you can see the job id there and uh, you can just copy paste it uh, in the job id prompt and uh, it will just put it there all right so then you can continue working with it now, uh, Mijon introduced a new remaster button, but basically what it does, it will add test creative to the prompt. Again, just a button that hides certain uh, prompt uh, 
uh, properties and it won't be available on the four thumbnails we need to create an upscale version and then you're going to see the new remaster button all right so again you need to make sure to upscale first an image that you really like maybe they're going to change it again or maybe it already changed by the time you're watching this video keep this in mind and uh it's going to add so this is just another one this is not that you see it had test creative at the end you see all right test creative and then uh, it will generate um, images with that in mind so this again not it this is just an upscale beta this is upscale light this uh yeah this is just an upscale light this is the first image that i got this is the second the moment i saw this image i told myself wow they absolutely nailed it then i knew this is exactly what i wanted to get exactly with the creative uh part but something that looks a more realistic look to it it looked incredible just per nailed it perfectly and then i knew wow this feature is incredible again it's it won't work great for everything but for what i wanted to achieve it just worked great and of course it might work well for you uh, maybe you don't even need to use it but playing around with it will kind of expand your creative uh, understanding of what is possible to achieve and maybe at some point you want to use it and then i try again generating like before generating more and more each image just look incredible incredible like before you know i just do it again and again and again and i just couldn't stop because again i'm just getting some okay some of them were very very creepy that i didn't like but overall you can get some really incredible results and this is the fun the rng right you just continue generating maybe you're gonna get something great maybe it's gonna be a bit bad you know that's part of the fun in mid journey as well the rng uh again because it's not deterministic right so you can get some really creepy stuff each time you generate and it looks incredible these are the creepiest ones i didn't like them too much. maybe you do <laughs> i didn't just too creepy but overall you know the render will just look incredible this is also amazing amazing one look at that crazy so this is it that's how i did it uh kind of uh, the process the creative process using me journey to get it and i hope you get inspired and you try to use it as well this is incredible for many type of images that otherwise you probably wouldn't able to get in me journey before that so try it out, give it a try, and hopefully you create some really amazing AI art with it. So again, thanks for watching, everybody. Consider leaving a like and subscribe. It helps me a lot and uh, motivates me to do many more videos. And uh, yeah, that's it. I see you on the next video. Tell me what you think about it and if you tried it. And if you like the results, so you think there's something to improve, let me know in the comment section below. I see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.